Well, as you may know, the Voice of America began as an overseas radio service during World War II. And in the 1960s, one of VOA's longest running English language programs first went on the air, Music Time in Africa. Heather Maxwell is the host of the Pan-African Music Program these days. And on assignments, Rebecca Ward caught up with her to talk about the show and its legacy. Let's take a look. Hello, Africa. Makat. Welcome it's to Music, music time, time in Africa. Africa. Welcome to Music Time in Africa, Cabo. Oh. <laughs> so, Heather, you have probably one of the coolest jobs here at The Voice of America. You are an ethnomusicologist. Yes. Did I say that correct? That's it. So, tell me a little bit about the show, Music Time in Africa. Yes. The show, it's a 60 minute uh, music show that features music from all over the continent and the diaspora. And it also features music of all genres and all generations. And, and it's a very popular form of music nowadays. And probably when you were in university, um, African music was not as prevalent on the radios here in the United States as it is today. That's true. But the world is smaller now. And uh, we have access to music from all over the world now. Um, but one of the things I like the most about music time in Africa is that it's African music for Africans. And I also feature uh, live music that comes into VOA. The most recent one was uh, a group called Tartit, and they are a five-member band, four are women and one man, and they're from northern Mali. They're Tuaregs, mm -hmm. and they play really traditional music. But it was great because they are very traditional and they all sat on the floor and I sat on the floor and they have to take water and pour it on the drums every five minutes or so to pull the skins down and so it was really, that was really awesome. The one the week before was Oliver Mutukudzi from Zimbabwe. I'll play Matisika. Matisika. And he came in and uh, we chatted for a good half an hour and he talked about his music and Zimbabwe and, and his recent album and the theme of that album which was sad because he lost his son and it was about how to deal with loss especially of a, of a child. When you perform this do you do you feel close, I think, close to your son? Yeah it, it, it is it is it is really because when I play songs from there, it makes me, it reminds me, it, it soothes me. The week before that, it was, a, it was an Ethio acoustic soul group, a young group of um, Ethiopian and German, uh, German pair, and they were doing really contemporary pop music. Once upon a time long ago, some legendary Africans I know had... The radio show is for an African audience, but you probably have fans worldwide. They don't have to tune into a television or radio station to see what you've done. You can actually see it on the VOA website. Oh yeah, you can go straight to the VOA website, listen to the radio show, and watch the blog. Hey everybody, are you ready for a great show? So great. the program's been around since 1965. Yeah. But how many changes, and, and what changes have you brought? Have there been many changes since Well, then? there's been a lot of changes. Number one, um, it used to be a 30-minute show, and when it started in 65, Africans in, in, say, one country didn't ever have the opportunity to hear music of Africans in another region, let alone another country. Before, the music um, was more traditional, and now it's more contemporary. I mean, the world, music is just you know, there's just much more to cover. Um, but I guess probably the biggest change is the, the communication. I mean, now, instead of writing letters and we receive fan mail, um, we're using social media a lot more. So I'm on Twitter. I have a Facebook page with, um, where I can put links to the shows. And Africans who have access to internet get on and they tell me, hey, Heather, we want to hear this song. Can you play this? Or will you give a shout out to my cousin in this place and that place? And so we communicate a lot more now through social networking, um, even though we also still use telephone and still some letters, old snail mail does come through. 
it really is great to hear all that music, Phil, from the African continent, especially since it's music that we a lot of times don't have access to. Yeah, and thanks to the Voice of America. Exactly. Right? Well, if you want to check out Heather Maxwell's show, Music Time in Africa, you can listen to it on our website, voanews.com, where you can also find her blog, which is called African Treasures.